I was like something and they were like he eventually decided to take the I was about to say plea but I don't know what it was the confession thing and then he was gonna decide to lie and do the confession to help save his family but once they said oh yeah by the way we're gonna like post this on the church door he went back because he felt like it would be like a mockery of the people that did stay true to their word unlike him so in the end he didn't want to make like a mockery of those people so he decided to change his idea to stay true to his word Mm -hmm. i don't know if that's what they were looking for but yeah i i um, am um this must be a really a really tough um, position because he's also looking um, for his wife to, to, you know, confirm that it's okay to lie. Right. And what, what does she say? She's like, John Proctor is saying, I'm going to do this. And what does she respond with? Alicia, tell us, what does she respond with? This is rough. She kind of just says, like, I feel like she was kind of saying she doesn't really want, like, she already had asked him to, and she, it's not that she wants him to, but she'll love him even if he still does, I guess. Okay. Trinity, do you have something to add to this? Um, what was, like, the original question? So the original question, we're dealing with John Proctor and his dilemma, right? Do, does he lie and come clean? Um, that Well, this is the weird part. If he lies, he's saving his life. But if he remains truthful, then he dies, right? And it has to do with the sun rising for some crazy reason. Like That's what, what they were trying to get them to do, right, is to postpone the hanging right and Danford wouldn't budge and you're just like Danford why are you being a baboos here right and Danford is all about his reputation which which really he should I don't know it's kind of Danford he's on my list yeah but what does um what does Elizabeth like tell John right is she okay with him lying? Uh, she was supporting him in the end because she knew that if he wanted to um, not sign the confession or not have the confession put up on the church, that it's okay with her because that's like, the one thing that he would like is to have his reputation um, saved. Right. This is a really, um, like, logistically, like, he would have to do the wrong thing in order to survive, which is a really weird, um, weird, weird un- illogical thing to do, right? And so if he's being good, he's going to die, right? Apule, please add your two cents in there because I'm sure it's worth more than two cents. Oh, no, I was just going to say, like, um, she just told him to forgive himself and only God, he's like, she's not going to judge him no matter what and only God can judge him. So whatever he mm-hmm. chooses is, is what, like, is what's like for him. But at the end, like, I, it was Paris. He told he told her to go run after him because it's not it's not too late and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then she said like um, she said something about like um, she took something from him. She doesn't want to take like his. I forget what word she used, but she like didn't want to take away his his. Honor, I guess I don't know. His honor. His something okay all righty um we i think it was um kai kind of touched upon the first question okay all these people had different reasons why um why they needed rebecca nurse to confess 
right? And Martha Corey, right? Um, they, they needed these women to come forth because they were like the pillars, right, of the community. They were looked upon as being these, these I guess, so-called perfect um, Puritan women. And because they didn't confess, then Danford, right, Danford couldn't be let off the hook. Um, what else? Danford couldn't be left off off the hook. Paris is dealing with the guilt at the end, right? Um, there is some major gut checking at the end, right? Um, and I believe that Arthur Miller placed Paris in the crucible for a reason, right? What would what would that be, Tia? Could you? Could you um, maybe talk about what would what is the purpose of having Paris? What is Paris's role in the Crucible at the end? I mean, he. I don't know. Paris. I just remember in the end. He was the one that he felt like he was getting haunted, right? Or that kind of losing his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, because in the beginning, I remember that. Um. Oh yeah, I should remember his Betty was couldn't wake up. So I feel like he was in the play or in the Crucible because he was like not like a bad like I let me try yeah let me try and guide you guys in 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 a certain i guess direction so when i ask you about like so now we're kind of backing up and we're trying to look at the crucible as a whole because i'm trying to get you guys to the theme so that we can get to our um our essay but um when you're, when you're looking at the crucible, right, the purpose of the crucible, right, was this extended metaphor that compared the time of um, the Red Scare, right, we got to go hunt down the communists, right, and so there's a reason why um, Arthur Miller had Paris go through this whole scenario, and at the end, he's left with his guilt right he is now haunted knowing that he could have stopped this right there's all these things that now paris has to deal with right um let's see gabby you know do you know what happened to um abigail at the end um well, actually, I don't know. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Okay. All right, Zeke, tell us, where did Miss Miss Abigail go? Ah, your mic. Nope, can't hear you. No, somebody. Okay, let's go in the chat then. Seems like we're we're kind of in a funk. All right, so go Actually, ahead, blast yeah. the chat. What? What happened, Gabby? Where, where, where did she go? Huh? Where did the Abigail plan. go? The plan failed. Like, um, I don't know. Isn't that something that happened? Girl. Okay, go ahead. In the chat, where did she go? What happened? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all for keeping up. All right. How, how does Paris know? How does Paris know that she left? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. All right.
We are stuck. Hello. I'm back. <laughs> oh no, you are frozen. Am I frozen now? No. I swear our computers know it's, it's Monday. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. Hey, you guys really laugh at me, okay? I'm sure my face was stuck at one funny kind, like, position, but so are yours, you know, and I didn't laugh about it too much. Okay. It's okay to laugh. Um? I'm okay with you guys laughing. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that lo breakfast? Lucky. Okay. I wish somebody gave me breakfast. Wow. All right. Let's just move on, okay, because I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, so what we have here is um, I just want you guys to just start off with this small group discussion, right? So can you guys do me a favor and get into um, – go ahead and get into um, Canvas. I get into Canvas and then start off with the closing the crucible. Okay. So in your small group, okay, you're gonna be dis discussing first who is your favorite character from the crucible. Okay. And then next, what is the most important lesson that um that comes out knowing why Arthur Miller wrote the crucible? Okay. So I'm going to put that in the chat. Okay, these are your two questions, your two favorite que your your fa your fir your favorite character, and then what was the important lesson that came out of this? All right. So we're just going to do five minutes. You guys have your phone. Kai, that's one big yawn, brother man. Okay. So we're going to have three breakout rooms. Be ready to share out. Okay. You guys set your timers for five minutes. We're just going to do a quick share out. Ready, go. Five minutes. chooses to make a good choice instead of lie.
Are you guys done? Can you hear me? Who's next? Jake? Oh, uh, my favorite character was also John Proctor because he always seeks for the right deep. And since he didn't sign that paper, that shows that uh, it does seal to his fate, but that just shows that he is a he does the right thing. And what uh why Arthur Miller write, wrote the Crucible was it connected to our history and today, like the issues, like the racism, the religion, and people's views on others. So I think that's why. He wrote that crucible. Okay, cool. Who's next? Um, I kind of think Arthur Miller wrote the crucible because he wanted to like kind of show how the power grab that McCarthy tried to get like backfired on him and it just didn't work out because like but then it also like the crusoe was talking more about like the guilt that everyone felt like while well, knowing that everything that they've said was basically like a lie and people's lives were ruined because of something in that they started mm -hmm. okay is your um mic still not working can 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 too bad i really like when you share out um go ahead and type um so you guys um this is really important that um you guys share out your different views on what you got out of the crucible because this is gonna help you in your final assessment okay all righty um i'm gonna just check on a couple other groups and then we'll get back okay Are you guys done? Yes. Ah, cool. Eva, who was your favorite character? I said my favorite character was John Proctor. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anybody have somebody different besides John Proctor? No. What about Giles? Mm, no. Okay. All right. Okay. So does anybody have anybody different besides John Proctor? Or is it is this all about John Proctor? Oh, Blaze, who? So I chose um, Hale because he did everything to save um, the people from hanging. And so that just reflects his character because he didn't really know them but he still cared about them yeah um i i think that you see the biggest growth in um in a person through hail and i think that's very well said blaze um it's i know john proctor hopefully we all related to john proctor because we would we would hope I guess I would hope that everybody had a little bit of John Proctor in them. But when you look at Hale, just like John Proctor, how he's not a perfect man, right? Hale comes in with all his books, all his knowledge, right? He feels this certain level of supremacy because he's well educated, right? And but he kind of lets that all go because he realizes that the reality is much different from when he came in. Like, wait a minute, something's wrong here, right? 
and he had the courage to speak up. So Blaze, that, that's really cool that you chose Hale, okay? But for those of you guys who chose John Proctor, by all means, right? I mean, that's an easy call. Kaylee, I feel like you, you, you want to be Team Proctor, so why don't you talk about it? Oh, are you I'm, eating? I'm just saying that as a person who my opinions change based on, like, who I'm around because I want more people to like me, Mm -hmm. John Proctor just really just showed me that you should become more solid in your beliefs uh -huh. you know? and your honesty to yourself. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, um, I need you guys to do do me a favor, okay? Um, I need you to go back into your modules. Okay, you guys remember when we redid our... <laughs> right. Eva, got you. Um, you know, when we redid our CER, when we redid our CER, what I did was I went in and I gave you guys specific things that you're missing. Some of the things that I told you guys is just straight up like, you got to do this. Okay. Um, so I'm going to point out some things, but I need you guys to go there because this is going to launch us forward into our essay. Okay, so everybody get in there, read the comments, okay? I, I wrote these comments with like full on like aloha for you guys. Okay, so in the chat, go ahead and type in a couple things that you know you got to change. Because I can point them out, but I already did. So you guys go ahead in the chat, tell me um, like two things you got to change. <laughs> oh, I was brutal out with you guys. Yeah, so one of the things that, um, yes, yeah. Okay, so um, when we, we did the, okay, thank you, Stronger Transitions, yes, please. Um, if I see an all in all or in conclusion, um, you're just gonna make me make an emoji face like, oh. okay, um, yes, whoa. Oh, Gabby, yep. Thanks. Wait, you I have a question. Yeah, question. You said better body paragraph by add addition of the topic sentence. Were you saying that it is better or would be better? Um, I got to go back in tears, but most likely that you need to have a better topic sentence. Oh. Okay, so I just want to quickly go through some things. Like, first of all, um we got to make sure that you guys are are first of all um in your introduction you have to go through the order hook bridge thesis okay the hook some of you guys um didn't catch any fish okay in fact you just threw in the line there was no hook there was no bait it was just back in 1692 there was a witch a witch hunt or something. I mean, I might as well just go eat vanilla ice cream, okay? You guys need to hook in the reader by saying something provocative, okay? And you need to provoke people to maybe either disagree with you or light them on fire 
or something. Okay. Um, the bridge, right? The bridge is just mentioning what you're going to be talking about. The claim or the thesis, right? Because now once you once you go from a a paragraph um, response to now multiple paragraphs, the claim turns into a thesis statement. Everybody clear on that? Yes. Okay. Nod. Okay. Thank you. And so um, your thesis is where you're saying so and so is to blame for the hysteria in this in Salem, right? I need to see the keywords. If not, I don't know what you're answering. Okay. So what else do you need? Um, I gave you guys the um, link to the transitions. I need you guys to use better transitions, especially when you hit, you drop a piece of evidence into the paragraph, right? The body paragraph. And then you try and explain. The explanation part is critical. You could, prob you could potentially give me um, a weak piece of evidence, but if you follow it up with a really strong point you're making with the evidence through the explanation, then, then it, it almost doesn't matter because now you're explaining why that piece of evidence works. Okay, everybody clear on that? So the other thing is this. Um, little things, yeah. MLA format, it calls for certain things, right? Your header, top right hand corner, has your last name, space, page number. Your heading, your heading is not in the header. So if you if you see your name, my name, okay, the the actual um, uh, class, the the course, and then the date. If you see that over and over and over again, that means um, you place the header, the heading in the header, and that's not going to work. Okay, it has to be on the first page. Next, your title, the title of your assignment, should just be there, right? It shouldn't be bold. It shouldn't be underlined. Just it should be there, right in the center. Next, when you guys add the title because you're mentioning the tag. Right, that needs to be italicized. All right, not in quotations, not in quotations. Um, and then finally, um, if you use the word you, or in my opinion, I think or I believe, you're watering down what you're trying to say. Okay, I need you guys to be more direct. Okay, I need you guys to be more direct and state it. Right, so for some of you guys, um, what I did was I gave you an example. Okay, so just double check what, what I'm talking about. Um, and then the tone. Um, the tone needs to be academic. So it's not a conversation that you're having, okay? It needs to be more academic. And what I mean by that is, I, I don't want you guys to state something like, I would say that Abigail would be to blame. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's you and me having a conversation with some coffee. Okay, what I need is an academic paper. Okay, so the tone is more direct, right? Abigail is to blame for the hysteria she caused through her, what, jealousy over <laughs> um, not being able to live a life with John Proctor. Boom, that's it. No, I feel, no, I think, no, I believe, no need. You're writing it, okay? All right, so, um, we're good. We have a really quick, um, really quick um, activity here. Okay, so um, what I did was, if you go into the canvas um, for the closing of the crucible, closing the crucible, I gave you guys the five paragraph format um, just to review and the MLA format. Okay. The MLA format, just go ahead and click on that, please. So in the MLA format, you have the sample paper, right? Before you guys turn in your final assessment, 
I really need you guys to check this sample paper. Ken? Okay, yes. I'm giving you guys the tools, Ken. Okay, go back into the um, module. Okay, so what we have here is we have small group work. Okay, four. Okay. Um, in the chat, Okay, go ahead. Can you guys open that up? No? Is it blocked? Oh, irritating. Hang on. Okay, go ahead and um, okay, go ahead and refresh, and everybody should be able to pop into this. Okay, so what we have here is we have just a sample paper. It's a really short abbreviated version. Okay, what you're going to be doing is in small groups is you're going to be um, You guys are going to be pointing out what's wrong with this. Okay, and that's what we're going to do um, For the next like okay. Can you guys click on to for some reason So what we have here is um, we have a we have small group. It should say corrections. Okay. All right. And um, if you guys look, um, I'm going to give you guys about 12 minutes to work on this in small groups. Okay. Um, each of you guys are going to have like just a section of the paper to work on. Okay. As you guys look at this paper, okay, this paper is answering a similar question, okay, but instead of like what is the theme of the crucible, um, this, the prompt for this essay is what is the main idea, okay, so I'm just giving you guys a similar question so you guys can look over it, all right, what I want you guys to um, do as a small group, okay, is to work on MLA format and what is missing from the paragraph. Okay, so um, we're going to do it like this. So, everybody have that um, Google Slides up and running, yeah? Okay, we're going to make five groups. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, so we're going to make five groups. Okay, and so the first group, okay, um, that's going to be Carson, Jake, and Krisha. 
okay, Carson, Jake, and Krisha, you guys are going to be working on um, the introduction, okay, the introduction with the header heading and um, introduction paragraph, okay, breakout um, group number two. We'll be focusing on body paragraph number one. So group number two is gonna be Apole, Gabby, and Trinity. Okay. Group number three, which is gonna be working on the body paragraph number two, is gonna be Zeke, Kaylee, and Tia. Okay. Group number four, you're gonna be working on body paragraph number four, which is the connection to today. Um, and that's going to be Blaze, Eva, and Kai. Okay, and then the conclusion, okay, which is the last paragraph, is going to be Alicia, Camila, and Laakea. Okay, any questions of what we're doing? Okay, you guys should have had a chance to kind of look over the essay, am I right? It's just really short, and it's really short because there's missing parts, as you guys can tell already. Okay, so. All right, 12 minutes, you guys have your phones? Okay, go ahead and set it to 12 minutes once you get in the room. Okay, let's jam this out because I wanna give you guys some time. Okay, go. They don't have um, a quotation. Oh, I have to write it. They don't have a quotation mark at the end of the evidence. You guys are good to go, yeah? You guys have any questions before? No? Okay. Okay, so you guys have a really important um, task, right? Because everybody gets this first part messed up, right? Okay. So what else? Okay. Good. Good. Okay, Jake, what else are you seeing? Um with the claim and thesis part? Yeah. So you see how it's kind of talking about it, but it's not really? Yeah, they have to okay. revise it. Yeah, okay. So if you just write, like, need to add, what do you need to add, right? So there's things missing, yeah? So that's why it's so short. Okay, so this yep. is the kind of, like, essay I would be grading, like, for a first draft, okay? This is really going to help you guys, okay? All right. I'm going to bounce to another room. Carson, you good? Yeah, I don't know. Wi-Fi is running really slow. 
Oh, bummers. I don't know. If you want to just come back in and try that, maybe that will work, okay? Okay. Because usually your computer, usually you're okay, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Maybe your computer is like Monday. Ugh. Okay, go. And then I'll let you back in. Okay. Okay, how are you guys doing? Good. Okay. So your guys, um, body paragraph number four is missing quite a bit of things, yeah? That's why it's so short. Okay, um, so what do we need to add? That's what you're going to be writing in, right? So you said needs more information about how mob mentality and the cruise, right? So let's use the terms, right? There needs to be further explanation or elaboration, right? There also needs to be a, an additional um, piece of evidence, right? So if we're looking at the five paragraph essay, right? there's usually two details or two pieces of evidence per body paragraph, okay? All right, and so with each um, main quote, right, or direct quote, you have a follow-up, okay? So if you look, you only have a, a topic sentence and a direct quote, okay? And you're missing everything else underneath that, okay? So does that make sense to you guys? Okay. Okay. Number five. Okay, how are you guys doing? You guys kind of have an important job to do here. Because, um, let's see, where are you? You're in the conclusion, correct? So did you find yourself having to go back to the, the introduction paragraph to kind of see what's going on? Okay, so what you need to do, right, is what? What did you guys say? Okay, there should be more of a recap. Yeah, fluff it up. Use bits of evidence. Okay. Um, So this is where you would look at the transition for the conclusion. What do you think about it? It is very weak. Yes, thank you. Good. It's okay, you can say it, right? It was made like that for a reason, right? So you can be like, oh my gosh, that's so lame, right? Okay. Good, stronger, smoother transition. Yep. Okay, very good. There needs to be some kind of tie-in. So, I mean, I think you could probably um, work off of maybe the introduction paragraph where it mentions destruction. Okay, so maybe come up with some kind of metaphor for something that is destructive, if that makes sense, yeah so that you can tie the top to the bottom, okay? And I think you're almost ready to go, yeah? Okay, we're just at least mentioning something. All right. Party people, hoop, there it is. Hoop, there it is. Do you guys know that song? Oh, yes. Your parents must be around my age, maybe. Okay, cool. All right, how are you guys doing? I'm not, I'm not seeing any kind of um, suggestions for changes in your um, slideshow. Did you guys do that? 
Um, it's in the chat. Did you find it? Do you need me to send it to you again? Uh, oh no, you found it, Tia. Okay. All right. So, what are the what are a couple of things that you guys noticed that? Oh boy, we need to change some things. Okay, go ahead and like type it in there. Yeah, like there probably needs to be a transition. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this. Is that what it's called? Like further explanation when you have to yeah. connect it? So after you drop a direct quote in, you follow up with um, either um, further reasoning to support the um, direct quote, or you can just say elaboration or explanation, right? Needs to follow up, needs to dive deeper. Okay, good. Um, yeah, what's going on with the, with the citation, right? On page 1236, what's up with that? Okay. Right, am I in the right room, you guys? Or do we just join after? Oh, where did Carson go? Did he not come back? Nope. Okay. Are you guys no. good to go? Pretty much, yeah. If you guys miss something, I'm going to cover it. Okay. All right. We're going to just leave. I'm hoping that this is really helpful, okay? Oh. All right, I'm sharing my screen. We're just going to go through this. Um, present mode. Oh boy. All right, everybody can see my screen, correct? Yeah. Jake, can you nod for me? Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we go. Group number one. Okay. Um, maybe what you can do is do a side by side and then so you can can share out and talk through the, the slide. Okay. So group number one, go for us. Go. Oh, you have to add your last name. Mm -hmm. and Okay. Keep going. Oh, and then you can take out period three and replace it with like 
like the subject, for example, English 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else is wrong with this? You guys should be real quick, point them out. Just call them out. Okay. Last name is missing. Okay, last name is missing. There's no tag. Mm -hmm. What else? And then I think in the title, you have to capitalize the M in move and the L in lie. Thank you so much. Okay. A um, couple other things. Okay. Then, okay, go. I think, in, and your last name is missing, and then in the corner too, on, with the one. Oh, here, top right. Okay, so in the head, it, so this is the header, last name, base, page number. Okay. Um, there needs to be a space after the period for miss, period, space, comma, two. Okay. The date is wrong. Right. So, Jake, what's wrong with the date? What goes first? You have to put the day and the month and the year. Okay. No comma, right? Uh, there's a comma between the year and the month. No, never. So, oh. MLA format, no need commas. Okay. No need. And the, the commas there because it's separating the numbers. Okay, in a regular format, but for MLA format in particular, um, because the day is on the other side of September, no need comma, okay? So yeah, this um, introduction paragraph is really weak. It's missing major components, okay? It's not, it doesn't even have a, a claim or a thesis statement, and there's definitely um, um, things that are super wrong, like the crucible should be, capitalized because it's the title and it should be italicized okay all right next group let's have the next group go okay look it's missing a tag okay very good all right number group two go um okay uh, okay, I'll talk. Good. Um, so basically, it is, there's no topic sentence, like in the paragraph. Yeah, there's no topic sentence, and there's also no transition. Well, it's not a good transition. And then, um, it needs the author on page. And then it also, the explanation has nothing to do with the quote. Like, you know what I mean? Can I help? Um, yes, yeah. please. Okay, so um, the actually, I was looking at it, and the quote has nothing to do with what the paragraph is talking about, and then the explanation doesn't even make sense. Because in the, the context of the quote, it's not, that's not what it was. Um, because she was, she was trying to beat her so she wake up, not so that she'd freaking, like, kill her or something, you know? Um, and then, so, like, you just need a better, um, a quote that matches what the paragraph is about, or the whole yeah. um, thing like the whole essay and then or like your point that you're trying to get across mm -hmm. um good explanation there needs to be um a lot of sentences in it right like there's okay so i really like that you guys saw that okay um could this quote work if the explanation was a little bit more aligned? Maybe, right? Maybe. But there might be better quotes to use. I think that's what you're also saying. And I like that because that's some critical thinking right there. Like, oh my goodness. This quote is fun because it's talking about beating someone, but it's not the correct quote. And then the, it seems like, you know, the writer just went off on a tangent instead 
Right. Okay. And it's also missing another direct quote. One thing I want to point out as well is that, yes, there is a topic sentence, but there needs to be a, a, a transition to it, right? On another note, blah, 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 right? Um, this in-text citation right here where it says page, blah, 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 we don't need the word page in there, okay? You can just keep it with just a number, okay? Because um, in the introduction, we mentioned the author's name. You don't need the author's name in the um, in-text citation. Everybody clear on that? Okay, we're going over this. You guys need to pay attention. If you guys are taking notes, great, okay? But we need to make sure that um, you guys are going through this. Okay, this is good. Good job, you guys. Okay, next group, group three. Um, in the beginning, it needs uh, to transition. Mm -hmm. And I know that at the end of this quote, it needs a quotation mark. Right, right. Quotation marks come in pairs, and it's on, there's only one. Okay, what else? Um, and it also needs a, um, a further reasoning to support this quote to make good. it make sense. Very good. Okay. Um, right here where it says on page 1236, page needs to be spelled out. Okay. Everybody hear me on that? Page needs to be spelled out. Okay. The other thing is that um, what we have here is we have topic sentence, evidence one, and nothing else underneath, right? We're missing the reasoning elaboration, then evidence number two, and then another reasoning ev and ev um, elaboration. Everybody clear on this? So this is really um, a half okole response right here, right? A half okole like body paragraph. It's missing like three more sentences, okay? All right, very good. Next. What? Okay. Good. Okay. So the third body paragraph, okay, just like in your essay for, um, for tomorrow's cohort B, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tying in some kind of um, current event, right, or a current topic that's going on. Okay, so who's the next group? Go ahead and talk about the third body paragraph. Um, so you need an in-text citation for the article and you need to have another piece of evidence and you need to further explain the, like how the quote relates to the topic sentence. Right. So this one too, right, is missing the elaboration that follows a direct quote, another piece of evidence and elaboration. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, next one, last paragraph, which is the conclusion. Um, so this paragraph needs like better transition and their grammar and stuff was really off, but they should also like do more of a recap on the essay rather than just kind of talking about it. I don't really know how to explain it, but this seems like it could have just been a part of their introduction. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like they never really explained what mob mentality is in like Oh. Very good. So that would have been something to add into the introduction, correct? Okay. Very good. Um what else? Um, again, overall, the main idea of the crucible, right? Capitalize, italicize. Everybody clear on that? Like when you turn in your work, I better see all the crucible, capitalize, italicize, please. Okay. Um, and then what is your final thought, right? We got to make sure that we come up with something that's a, an actual mic dropper. Okay. All right. Um, I know we're running out of time. Okay. So I'm gonna just push you guys through here. Okay, um, the five paragraph outline, you're going to be um, submitting it here. Okay, everybody's following, yeah? Okay, 
And then this is where you're going to be dropping in um, the Crucible five paragraph essay. It's worth 40 points, okay? All of the things that you will be assessed on, we've been going through all of these, um, these last couple of weeks. Everybody clear on that, okay? I'm looking for MLA format, the conventions. I'm looking that in your body, your introduction paragraph, you have the things we've been trying to work on. Okay, I'm looking for in your body paragraphs, the six pieces of evidence along with the elaboration that follows it. So if you look, that's a big chunk of your essay right there. Can you bust out some quality, some effective direct quotes and then explain it? Like how Akule was saying, like, if you don't have things that make sense, no sense mention them because you're just going off on a tangent. Okay, so stay focused on, on what your purpose is of the, of the essay is. Okay, and then your conclusion, does it, do you have that final thought and does it connect to the hook? Okay, does anybody have any questions on what you're doing? Okay, so what I did was I thought that I could set the time for um, your, your final um, assessment to be three o'clock at the end of the school day, but it doesn't work like that. So you have till tomorrow midnight to submit your exam, okay? Is everybody clear on what you're answering, what question you're answering as far as what is the theme, right? So this, this is me being real with you guys. I know you can look it up, right? So that's not what I'm, I'm gathering. I'm not, that's, I know that, right? So what I'm, I'm looking for is I'm looking for you guys to choose what you connected to the most with, right? So what theme is that theme that like yanked you at the heart, right? that's the theme, right? And it kind of relates to like, what's the most important lesson you learned as well, okay? But the other thing is that I need you guys to be able to write well. So that's what I'm grading you guys on, okay? Does anybody have any questions on what we're doing? So cohort B, I'm gonna be um, at my computer, okay? Um, if you for some reason need some help, I will be here during cohort B, okay? Um, I'm sorry, class ran a little bit longer. Um, I was planning on giving you guys time to just work on your essay, but I don't know. We've had some te technical difficulties and blah, blah, blahs. Okay, so um, I think you'll be okay because you'll have tonight and then you'll have tomorrow during class period and then tomorrow night if you need it. Okay, so it'll be due at 12 o'clock. It's a five paragraph essay. It shouldn't be that long. Okay. But if you just stay with the format, you'll be just fine, okay? Um, other than that, if you have questions, email me, okay? Type them out. If you need to meet on Zoom in the morning, um, shoot me an email, okay, and we'll, we'll go forward with that, okay? Other than that, um, I'll see you guys later. Jake, can you stay just a tiny bit after, okay? Jake from State Farm. Okay, all right, bye, you guys. Bye, work hard. Bye. Alicia, did you need me too? Oh, okay. You guys too? Can you just email me and then I'll email you guys back? I just need to talk to Jake real fast. Bye. I think Camila's stuck. I'm sure you hear that joke all the time. Jake, Jake from State Farm. Anyway, okay, so um, I hope that this helped you today. Okay, with like the organization. Well, who was your English teacher last year? Oh, Miss Connell. Oh, okay. So you're familiar with all of this stuff, right? Yeah. MLA format. Okay, I think it's more just like, um, how do you link up all your ideas together? I think that's what you're struggling with. Can you can you talk to me about that a little bit? Well, like the from the story, and then it's kind of hard to like, interpret, like putting it down to pieces. Okay. Defining. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So this is the other thing I understand is that you can pretty much look up um look up anything right because this is just what we're 
the kind of like schooling we're doing right now, right? So you can open up Spark Notes and kind of read the summary so at least you know what's happening, okay, to help you. Um, you can watch the play and then get through at least the content of it, okay? And then you can also Google, like, what's the theme, right? Or main idea. And that's why I chose mob mentality because what I did was I Googled it, what is the main idea of the crucible? And mob mentality popped up, right? And that was like the number one thing. And so I was like, I'm just gonna talk about that, right? So for you, um, that would be my suggestion. Yeah, look up main quotes, all of that stuff, okay? And then just follow the outline, okay? Just follow the outline and then add in your transitions, double check your MLA format and you're good to go. Okay. So when you go, when you go back into like the CER review, I named out certain things that you needed to fix. Yeah. So go back and review that too. Okay. And then email me if you have other questions. Okay. All right. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.